Good morning, family. It is day two of the Daniels Fast. So yeah, <laughs> day one was fun, but towards the end of the day, when I'm not gonna lie, I, I began to have cravings for things that I can't have. So I used that um, moment to get out and just kind of go do something, get active. Um, I didn't want to sit around the house. Unfortunately, we did not eat everything that was here before the fast. And so there's still some cookies lingering. There's still some ice cream bars in the refrigerator. I had to get out for a while. And so I got out, drove around, went walking around, and then I came back. But, you know, I stay strong and stay true. And <laughs> he did really good. He did really, really good. I'm glad we both he, did good. I mean, I, I mean, mean, we did good, but I just I, I, you didn't I, crave anything like I did. Yeah, I mean, I really didn't have any cravings, but I was, I was really trying to find a way to keep my hunger under control. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, we seen. I mean, I, you know, I've seen how much our back. We kind of, we kind of on the same schedule. Like we was having to go to party, go pee at the same time, and party. What? I'm sorry, but party at the same time. <laughs> and like we were like, you feel like I go? Like we're on the same, we're on the same schedule. So, mm -hmm. and uh, also too, just a. The way I felt from holding the food down in my body, I kind of try to compare how it feels to eat something heavy in the morning compared to eating something not heavy in the morning, yeah. you know, how my body functioned after that. And then also just after meditation and prayer and putting all those pieces together, I feel light, you know what I mean? I, yeah. feel, I feel more light, I can move more fluidly, you know, more a little more agile. And I feel like I feel like that spiritually too as well. Okay. Get the drinks. Yeah, so now we're on day two of these drinks. Mm -hmm. and, um, I want to do power today. You know what? I want to do the blue one. The one that says, uh, that one. This one. What's it called? Alive. Alive. So yesterday I did Awaken. Today I'm doing Alive. And yesterday, Janice did detox. detox. And today... I'm doing power. She's doing power. Power has cucumber, chard, broccoli, kale, lime, celery, and parsley. Mmm. Give me what Awaken has in it, baby. Awaken oh, has man, filtered H2O, stuff. lemon, maple, blue magic, Spiral spirulina. spirulina, yeah, spirulina so. and cayenne. Oh yes, a, a lot is a little spicy. I like a lot that, is uh, a little spicy. That's good. I like that. I like. Steak. I have never had chard. I'll get you a green drink. Yeah. So, well, it's Ooh. actually pink or purple. We shook it up, but the green I it you. separates. I and that. so I actually shook it up last night, but it separated again, and all the green went to the bottom. Okay, I see now. It's a lot of green in here, but I think the chard made it purple. Everything else is green though. Mm -hmm. So let's yeah, see. Let's see. Let's taste these and see. He tastes he tasted that one when we were at Main Squeeze, but I we didn't taste this one. It's a it smells good though. Mm. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Oh, this is gonna be tough. This is what? Mm, is that kind of is? This is gonna be tough. Spiced up right here, y'all. Mm. Yeah, it's not the tastiest, but I mean, I think the less tasty it is, the more healthier it is. I mean, it has celery in it, so celery is not. My throat is tingling way down. That's the kind of drink you drink when you're not feeling well. You ain't lying, like, like, like if you have a sore throat, this gonna make you feel good. But these these things, like this spirulina and, uh, and the cayenne definitely helps out. Um, a few of the snacks that we have been enjoying, we are able to eat Triscuits, uh, certain ones though, not all of them. So the original thin crisp ones and the cracked pepper and olive oil. Some of them do still have things or are made with things we cannot have on there. Yeah. So only specific ones. Yeah. Skinny pop popcorn, which is something that we already enjoyed as a family. Mm -hmm. And plain rice cakes. Tastes a little yeah. bit like corn, <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. We can have lightly salted nuts, as long as it's not salt. This is salted with sea salt. No, this is not iodized salt. Yes, plenty, plenty for good food for the body, but also we had good food for the thought this morning too as well. Yes, we did, today's um, Bible verses were right, right on time. Yes, we, we, we looked at um, Psalms 1, chapter 1 and chapter 2, we did to complete both chapters. And we learned a lot about in Psalms 1, talking about um, the godly versus the ungodly, and how God wants you to uh, you know, plant your tree in the river, you know, because it's going to grow good fruit, it's going to, uh, the leaves won't wither. But you know, if you're on the ungodly side, you plant your tree in the dry land, you know, you get dry results, you know, mm -hmm. nothing grows, nothing grows great from um, from a dry, from dry land. And that's shown through proof of like really planting real trees. So imagine you plant yourself in dry, in dry land, what kind of fruit you're going to bear from dry land. Well, it just talks a lot about being, you know, ungodly versus being righteous 
Mm. And it was a beautiful thing because our children woke up with us this morning yes. to participate, in fact, in the in the um, Bible study with us. But the, the, the big girl didn't. She, well, she didn't wake up to do that. She just happened to wake up because everybody was making noise. Mm -hmm. And she really wasn't, you know, uh, she just doesn't have a zeal for Bible study in church. And she, mm -hmm. she believes in God. She loves him. She prays to him. She she considers him in all things, but she just doesn't have a zeal to mm -hmm. to read the word and do all of that like our, our middle baby does, like mm -hmm. Autumn does. And so London, but London was there and she participated eventually. I think Autumn. She listened and, yeah. you know, and... It was perfect because they both struggle with choosing to be righteous or ungodly. Yeah. They both struggle with that. They, London is more action that she struggles with. Mm -hmm. um, she struggles with doing things she knows she's not supposed to do, but she doesn't any way resist temptation. She struggles with not being able to do the right thing, even though she knows the right thing is the right thing. Like she, she would rather suffer consequences and satisfy mm -hmm. her flesh in this moment than do the right thing. Uh, Autumn is more so her her verbal, her temper, stuff like that. Autumn has a really bad temper. Mm -hmm. They both have their yeah. struggle when it comes to, you know, being ungodly versus being righteous. Both sides of the spectrum. You know, mm -hmm. you know one thing I did learn with thinking think about what you were saying, you know, like the London things that she's struggle with in school is showing effort. <clears throat> you know, it's always, it's always that she uh, oh, this is she always jump put a lot of effort in things that she do. It's the same. So it's, it's the same thing with her journey with God. She got to put some effort in. You know what I'm saying? Relationship with God, she got to put effort in a relationship. Yes. And I'm starting to see that throughout this whole journey as we are going into the, going to this fast. You're right. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm almost there. Mine's, hey, Ooh, uh, Lord. It's good, though. I mean, it's good for us. It is. Oh, but it's so horrible. I mean, it is. It's one to two, one to two pounds of produce. Mine's it's too two, hard. Two to four pounds of produce. Yeah, yours looks like you got more volume. It's 100% juice. There's no. Uh, yeah, there's some 40% juice, man. There's no. That's because that blue magic is not a juice. Mm -hmm. The blue magic is not a juice, mm -hmm. and the maple is not a juice, yeah. and yeah, uh, the the filter H2O is yeah. not a juice. Yeah. I don't know if that's maple syrup or it's not maple syrup. No, maple, maple what? Maybe maple leaf. I don't know. Maybe. But hey, because it's not sweet. <laughs> I am like burning inside me right now. Our Bible study this morning was very impactful. Daily devotional. Oh yes. The daily Mr. and Mrs. book. The the the, uh, the daily devotional was really good too. Yes. Uh, and the Mr. and Mrs. devotional book that we read every morning. Um, today was about the importance of uh, letting loose of childlike faith. Um, yeah. Or having childlike faith. Having childlike childlike faith in um. Uh, not always um, want to do things in your own power. You know, lean on God. Lean on God in your marriage. Always, always remember to hey, let go and, and let God take control. Those are how you want to take control yes. all the time. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Lean know, on God in we your all, marriage. we all, we all do that. Sometimes we, we go through things, we go through trials, tribulations, and we we can think about how we handle ourselves instead of giving it to God. I and mean, then God help us, help us handle it. You know, so it's powerful. It, it was a, a powerful statement and, um, that was made in, in there that God said about leaning all our faith on. Him. And uh, that's definitely something that we are, are really um, down into throughout this whole year coming from last year. Leaning on God. We Leaning gave our God. whole family to him. So last year was definitely a huge test mm -hmm. of faith. Um, a huge test of faith um, yeah. and devotion. Not to each other, but to him and yeah. to his word. And, you know, I feel like so far 2020, I know we're only three days in. Three days. But 2024 is definitely seeming like. So we are coming in with so much power this yes, year. Yes, it's like a good, clear uh, sight of uh, these three days. Wow. Like, you know how you uh, just live in a moment and you have to take advantage of every single moment? Mm -hmm. That's what it feels like our life is going right now. I don't pretend to keep going that way. So that way mm -hmm. you, can be, you can recall everything clearly when it, when, when, when the year is up. And we are ready to the end of the year. Because faith without works is dead. And I feel like last year we had faith, but I don't feel like we were, we were allowing our circumstances to keep us distracted from yeah. the things that we needed to exactly. be doing yes. in order for us to progress in our brand and in our life and mm -hmm. be successful. And so this year, we're not allowing our circumstances to dictate our next move. Mm -hmm. We're going to push through those circumstances yep. to get to the promise. Yes. And so far, so good. So far, so good. So, so far, so good. Yes. We're about to get ready to go. Um, for a walk with our kids, we're gonna take them to a park and go for a walk and then go for an oil change. Yeah. We're gonna pack up snacks and stuff. So we're gonna bring y'all along yeah. for the journey today. Um, 
and see how we fare throughout the day out mm -hmm. there in the fat in the world trying to fast <laughs> not able to eat yes are we prepared everything well enough? that we want to eat so mm -hmm. let's see how this goes let's see you ready Ooh. Who's, who's gonna pay the um? Uh, who's gonna pay the speed ticket? Uh, hey, baby. Not sure. Who? Hi. Tell me. No one. No, no one. one driving it. No. Mm -hmm. We are. We have finally reached lunch. We are having lunch at a place called Flower Child. It hey, is a vegan us. restaurant. Um, it's a vegan spot that does tofu and things like that. So they do have some stuff that we can eat on the fast. We figured this, we found this place last year when we did the Daniel's Fast with it, with our church last year. It was last year in January. And this is the girl's favorite place. But we don't live by it, so we don't come often. And also, my favorite meal is the salad of the avocado with wine dressing. Salad with the avocado lime dressing. Sour, crunchy. Not sour and crunchy. <laughs> I know it smells good in here. Um, it is really chilly. It is really, really chilly. We'll have to see. Go. Hi. Okay, so let me get two Mother Earth bowls. But we are doing the Daniels fast. So we cannot have, I think it's the cucumber mix that has a little bit of sugar in it. Yes, ma'am, I believe so. Okay, we cannot have the cucumber in the middle okay. of both. So I need two of those with no cucumber and add tofu to both. Yes, ma'am. And there was a dressing that you guys had. I think it's the, that was dairy and sugar free, the lemon avocado dressing. Let me yes. get my four of those. Four of those, yes. And then let me also get the sweet corn and quinoa on the kids' meal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, with tofu. Yes. So they so the salad is a kale salad with zucchini noodles, parmesan, parmesan bread crumbs, bread crumbs, and, crumbs. Like and then the lemon garlic. It's kind of like the broccoli that we have, but it's a salad form. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You want that? Because I don't think you ate. I'm not giving you a big adult salad. It's too big, and I don't think you ate that last time. So that's your option, or you could do one of these from the kids menu. You want to do what? Hey, no steak. Tofu. But we're on the fast. You don't like tofu. Okay, so if you don't eat your, you have to eat at least one fast meal a day. So you got to eat what you ate last night. You got to eat that again tonight if you don't get tofu. You don't have to eat tofu. You don't have to. Well, I mean. three vegetarian sides as well. So they can do three of these instead of that. So. So you could do the, the sweet corn and quinoa, or you can do the broccoli parmesan or, and, and then the fruit. But I don't think you're gonna like the quinoa either. If you get chicken what, or steak, what would you get? Well, if I got chicken, I would do, I would do mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. Mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. So you gonna eat what you ate last night for dinner then? Yep, okay, that's what we're gonna do. So chicken with the smashed potatoes and mac and cheese. Are we still doing that kids' tofu with the quirky one group? That's, that's for the other one. Yes, ma'am, what else for you? That's it, because the baby just gonna share with all of us. Yes, she, she don't, yeah. And can I get uh, four waters? Yes, ma'am. So it's gonna be 51.96. Got the mother up with us? Yes, he'll be sitting right there by the phone. So delicious. She got the quinoa. And she got the chicken. Here's your tofu with the corn fruit. Come on, the welcome to us. Here's your chicken with mac and cheese and smashed potatoes. Can I get you all anything else right now? Hey, man. Basil, pe broccoli pesto, sweet corn, and mac and cheese. Yes, 
sweet potatoes, tofu, avocado, kale, and quinoa. Oh my goodness. Everybody enjoying their lunch? Say thank you, flower child. <laughs> Why aren't y'all ready for school tomorrow? I'm ready for school. I so, they missed you. They missed you, trust me. Thank you so much. Like, oh, I feel like I, I'm about to literally put a pin in my stomach, I will explode. I'm full too. I feel like the food's still in my throat right now. I mean, it was good, but I am full. I'm like, so full. Oh, man. But I'm not bloated, though. I'm not bloated, and that's the part I love so much. I'm not bloated. Two days straight of eating this way, eating a more vegan lifestyle, and I, I'm, I'm not bloated. Yep. I'm fitting in my jeans just fine, not feeling like I can't breathe, and these particular <laughs> jeans usually have me unbuttoning them, unbuttoning, unbuttoning them right after I eat. The good thing about this fast that our body absorbs this food a lot faster, because mm -hmm. the process is a whole lot easier it's for our body. So it's gonna absorb it, it's gonna go down, so it's gonna go, go down the right way, and to utilize it and feel better and feel alive. Yeah. You know, um, that's what I like about this fast. And I mean, it's, you know, you, you see how God wants you to nourish your body. And once you once you I eat like live food, you feel alive, you know, the, the cars, but the, 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 the driveway, where they drop off cars, where they're done, and people have to leave. Oh. Yeah, this is the lane where you gotta pull into and just to get, uh, you know, <laughs> just get checked in. But. Yeah. But I love it. It feels good. Um, yeah, it feels good. I feel really good. good. I feel really good. I had my one little sweet craving last night. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I feel pretty good. This thing want to act up, so while we get our oil changed, so she got to take a nap. <laughs> and she already take a nap, Autumn. And London is. Hi, London. Hi, Nana. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs>